Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is the continuation to the GitHub playlist. Uh, this video we will be focusing on how we can create the local repository using the git command line. If you have followed my GitHub playlist, you know that uh, we installed git in our local system that is in our laptop, right? Uh, and using that git, we can create a local repository. So please watch how to install git, uh, the second video in the playlist and also the previous video of it where I have talked about repositories and all. So the similar repository what we created in GitHub, now we will be creating the repository in our local system because that's how we work in real time, right? A local repository will be there. Uh, that's where the development will happen. And this local repository changes will get saved and finally it will get merged with the remote repository which is there on the github portal okay so we have created a remote repository in the last video so this video we will be focusing on creating the local repositories so to do that what you have to do open a terminal and uh, that means command prompt navigate to the folder where you want to create the local repositories and then use this init command to create the rep local repository the moment you create the repository it will actually create a folder called dot git by seeing that folder you can say that that particular folder is a git repository okay uh, this git dot git folder will generally contain all the necessary files uh, which will be used by the git to act that folder as a repository so once you created a new repository generally you will start adding the files there or editing the files from there and do your development okay so let's practically see that so let me minimize everything and now let me go to the folder so let me go to the c drive right so let's assume in the c drive this is where i want to create a repository which is local repository so right click here uh, right click and select the open terminal option and this will open the terminal for me okay so now in this terminal right so what i am going to do i am going to git init then uh, maybe i want to have a repository or a folder with name demo project okay so that is the repository name i want to give under the c folder or c drive so let me hit enter to execute this you can see that it says that an empty git repository got initialized and c drive demo project whatever the folder name i gave it created that project and also it added this dot git subfolder in it to make it actually a local repository let's validate this here so let me go to the c drive and here i should see that demo project you see that demo project folder here so when i open that you see the dot git folder as well so it contains some necessary files that will be used by the git to make this folder as a local repository for some reason if you guys are not seeing that make sure you change the settings in the file explorer uh, click this view menu here go to the show and select this hidden items so that will make sure you to visible this dot git folder okay so we are good so we have created a local repository now and we in the previous video we have created a remote repository so now the next work will be we have to connect both of these because these both repositories should be in sync when we are working in a real time in the local repository you do the development and then you will make sure to push these changes into the remote repository and make sure both these repositories are in sync we will see that in our upcoming video how to connect these repositories thank you for watching um, have a nice day thank you